Alright. So now we have some lightning. And that. So yeah. <laughs> it's like... I think they had something similar to that in the first ruins level. And... It was just a normal box. But then they were like... Oh man. They know... They know to spin there. So let's just put a nitro box and just troll them. It's a bit like... Uh, the lab in Crash 1. Um, having like a random TNT crate in, a, in the midst of like a bunch of regular boxes. Like you can't see it. with Without like getting rid of some boxes in the way. It's just... Oh man. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I, I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want to be too mad at that because, I mean, it is kind of funny and also it's, this one isn't too far into the level. It's like, like, not even five seconds in really. And also, if you remember from the other one, this made a bunch of regular boxes appear, but because Naughty Dog hates us, yeah, <laughs> oh man. You want to do that because it. If you don't do that, you won't be able to uh, get all the nitro boxes when when you uh, hit the um, nitro box uh, destroyer crate thing. But yeah, there's another Donkey Kong section. Funnily enough, though, funnily enough, though, if you don't have the green gem, you can actually still make it. If you do the uh, little slide jump spin trick like if you do that to gain some extra height and if you do that and and uh, gain enough distance you can actually get to the this pathway without even uh, getting the green gem which is actually kind of funny it's very easy to easy to do once you master that the uh, the the uh, Super jump, I guess, or whatever you'd want to call it. The secret spin jump, I guess. Ugh. Okay, you didn't even reach me. And gem. So, I take it this is just going to take us way too far in. Yeah, I don't want to be here yet. Alright. Okay, that was way too close. Yeah. The, um... The hitbox of those... The flamethrower statues... Is a lot bigger than you'd think. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, get that. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gone and would have gone insane. All right. Yeah, don't don't do that prematurely, because like if you saw the seas brain run, I actually did that and died in the process. Because the thing with the TNT boxes is that the explosion kind of lingers there for like half a second after it explodes. So, you have to watch out for that. Alright. Three, four. What? What? Okay. Come on, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Again. Okay. Finally. <laughs> oh, dear. That took a while. Alright. So look at all that nice wumper fruit. Yeah, I got all of them. Because I am hungry, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But yeah, something I haven't read. Okay, no. I think I've. Okay, no, I. The platform comes back up, so you don't need to worry. But yeah. I'm gonna time this. Because yeah. Those things aren't friendly. 
But, um... Yeah, one thing I haven't actually brought up here is the fact that they changed how they changed the bonuses. Because um, in Crash 1, if you remember, we had to get Torna, Embryo, or Cortex tokens that took us to different areas for a bonus room. And in this game, you have every... Pretty much every level, well, almost every level that's, like, in the game. Like, the only ones I can think of that don't have them are the uh, polar bear levels. But other than that, um, there's a bonus room in the level. And I just, I think it's a much better decision to have the, have the bonuses in the actual level and s levels themselves and be part of the environment instead of making it, making you have to search for different tokens and fi doing uh, finding them in a different completely different area I, I think it just I think it just works better like going through the level and just finding a question mark platform taking you to a different area of the actual level I just I think that's a m much better way of handling it personally and you don't have to worry about like having to save the game with the uh, Torna tokens anymore, but, you know. But yeah, we already have a, well, actually no, I shouldn't say already, because we played a decent amount of levels before, like, after the previous version of this level, but, yeah, the, the, the main difference with this one is that there's just a ton of bees now. It's like, every beehive holds, like, a bee family, pretty much, so, it's gonna encourage you to dig dig a lot more than the previous one which didn't really encourage you at all like um there there were a, a decent amount of the beehives everywhere but yeah look at that it pretty much uh it's pretty much like what is it necessary in order to like actually get rid of the bees now because you can try to spin them, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. Like, you're going to have to be pixel perfect. But again, if you're fast enough, you can just avoid the bees altogether. But so it's not always going to work. But, um, yeah. And now, another secret. <laughs> yeah, your Q is basically... Um, the Nitro aren't moving or bouncing, so maybe there's something here. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, we could actually just kill ourselves now. But, I've never actually gone through this pathway. So, I'm actually curious to see, like, what's in store. So, I'm gonna go as far as I can. If I die, I'm, I die. And I'm not gonna bother going back. But, I'm curious to see, like, what this actually has in store for us. So, I... I don't think a lot of people have actually seen this, because most people do just kill them, kill themselves. But I just see a lot of missiles, and yeah, that's not fun. But this is actually pretty interesting. Dang it. I don't know. Okay. That wasn't too bad, actually. Because I hear someone name that, or some people call that, like, the hardest secret pathway in the in the game, or something, and, eh, not really, that was actually kind of straight, straightforward, I mean, there were a ton of missiles to avoid, don't get me wrong, but there weren't a lot of things blocking, like, stopping us from avoiding them easily, so, that was actually pretty simple, but, yeah, the idea, the quicker way to do that is just get the gem, kill yourself, and just be on your way. But I just—I was just kind of curious to see like what that actually had. All right, bunch of nitro. Funnily enough, though, I think this is the easier uh, B level because mainly for the fact that there isn't a too much backtracking in this one. I believe, like, I—I well, I could be wrong. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop my stop uh, myself before I get proven wrong. But even if it does, well, even if it does have backtracking, the one in the previous one is easily worse. But we'll see. 
There's probably some, uh, at least some of it. Right, I want to get that. No! Okay, that was stupid. Alright. Okay, let's see. There's nothing so far. Okay, no. There is. There are no parts with backtracking, so... Yay! I was right. And we're done. Yep. Definitely easier than the previous B level. At least I think so. And now we're done with behaving. And Warp Room 4 in general. <laughs> okay, so I... I uh, wait, I, okay, I'll, I'll explain in a bit. <laughs> Now, back when I said, like, I, I remember, like, I said that you get most of the colored gems near the start of the game, which, oh, look at Crash's face there. Um, but, um, yeah. And that's true for the most part. Like, you get, you get most of the colored gems in Warp Rooms 1 and 2. But, I f completely forgot there was a colored gem in Warp Room 4. The thing is, though... All of the previous warp rooms are done, so the whole thing I. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk about this boss in a sec, but yeah. Um, we've done all the warp rooms previous to this one, and that color gem is only for a specific. Um, gem pathway in Warp Room 5, so, yeah, the whole thing of, like, the game 100% being more streamlined than the other game, the other two games, is still true, but, um, either way, though, this is easily the best, my favourite boss in the game, because it's some, wait, what the, I have no idea what, what happened just then, but, um, yeah, something's always, uh, going on. And you, you don't have to constantly be waiting, like, Ripper Roo or the Komodo Brothers. And, I, like, you have to, you have to actually be, uh, try, you have to actually try in this fight. So, yeah, it's definitely my favourite boss in the game. Because, like, when Crash does bosses right, he, he really does them right. Like, take Crash Freeze bosses, for instance, like, all... Pretty much all of those bosses are really fun to fight. And they offer a good amount of challenge. I like how they don't even bother having a animation for the... Uh, what is it? <laughs> the uh, chewing out the Wampa Fruit. Alright. Now he's going to try and take us out. Okay. I don't think you can take him out of one go. But he's done. <laughs> oh, man. Okay then. <laughs> Even though the they seem to be in your space station, but yeah. 